Hey everybody, my man Handyman. It's a beautiful evening here in Grand Junction, Colorado. And we're actually at a customer's house. They said we could go ahead and do a video here because uh, we're going to show you termite damage. And Yay. what? Yay. Yay, yeah. <laughs> now, if you live in Grand Junction, you're probably thinking termites. Yes, they do exist here. Uh, not Every as common as where we came in from Missouri. Um, in Missouri, we had a few houses that, you know, we always said if the termites let go of their hands, the house would fall down. Literally, there were some houses that bad. Um, so this is actually not that bad. So if you want to come on in, I'm going to show you what it looks like. Now, we took the sheetrock off. I wish I'd shown you, took it before picture, but the, basically the sheetrock is starting to turn to powder where the termites were. And the paint was literally just peeling off in chunks. It was just flaking off. So that was the first sign that there was something wrong. And we thought maybe it was going to be moisture damage. And then we get it off, and you can see where they've had their little tunnels. Now, this was between, yeah, this was between the sheetrock and the wood. And you can see all along here. Now, this is the foundation. This is a half basement. So, this is the foundation. Here's the wood seal. Um, and that's where they're coming in, as between there and there. Um, I'm going to show you this. Come over here. So, for those who have never seen the termite before, I'm going to show you a dead one here. If I can get it. there you go. That is a dead termite right there. Kind of looks like a maggot or mm -hmm. larva. Kind of does. <laughs> it kind of does. Yeah. Uh, they don't like daylight. So if they're on the outside of your house, they're going to tunnel. And look at this. This is, I've never seen one that I've actually gotten a hold of like this. That, let me get that lint off there. That's that a is a tunnel. tunnel. Yeah, that is a tunnel they have bored. That's made out of your house right there, mm -hmm. and mud, and your wood. Look, you can see down inside there almost. That is a termite tunnel. Now, in Missouri, it was always a good good deal to have your foundation, so your seal plate, and at least a foot of dirt between that and the ground level. Um, I think part of the problem with this house was, and we discussed with the customers, Here's the seal, here's the concrete, here's the seal plate, and the dirt level is actually about here. It's brick on the outside of the house, so the dirt level is actually about here. So what's going on is, you might as well say this is the front door for these guys right here. They don't have to come out of the ground at all. Typically what will happen, now, typically what happens is if they're going up the concrete, now they can get inside your crawl space, <clears throat> uh, on the outside of the crawl space, on the foundation, and you'll see something similar to this weaving its way up your foundation. That would be a termite tunnel right there going up to your foundation inside or outside. That's what it's going to look like. If you see those on the outside of your house, you got termites. So, luckily, Watch it looks, out for those. Yeah. So, luckily, it looks like these guys might be gone. We had the pest control company come out. And so, it's they're not dormant. They're not active. So, they might be gone. We're, but we're gonna, they're going to go ahead and treat everything anyways. Just to be on the safe side. I don't do pest control. Call, call the experts. They know what chemicals to use and all the mixtures to make it happen. And they're going to use some tube things they stick down the ground that has a, like cheese from mice. It attracts them to it. I don't know what it is. Some chemical in there and it attracts them. So hopefully they'll go to that if there's any left underneath here. And they'll go to that and that'll be in them. But I wanted to show you this, guys, because we do have termites here in Grand Junction. So tomorrow we're going to get this. is going to be treated. We're going to put new insulation in here. We're going to put some new sheetrock up and start fixing this all up again. Uh, the guys will be working on that tomorrow, but just wanted to show you that. Look at that. It, this isn't that bad, guys. I've seen way worse. Thankfully, so, they haven't started eating the wood really they have, bad. I've seen them turn wood into where you can stick your fingers through it, and it's that soft. So this is not bad. This is not bad at all. We've caught it in time. Now we can get this remedy and fixed. So. Yeah, I just wanted to show you that because I, I can't believe we found a termite There's a better in there. Look at the tunnel and the tunnel. tunnel again. Yeah, and you can see... So if you open up your wall and you have this, definitely not termite, good news. not moisture. It's termite, <laughs> and we have some pictures too. We're gonna post tonight of the backside of the sheetrock, so you can see what it looked like where they tumbled up like this section right here, and things like that. So and you can see right in there too. Look at that. They really gnawed on that wood good. Can you see it right Look there? Down inside that hole, oh, yeah. right there. Yeah, it's a tunnel. Yeah. Yeah. So, I just thought that was interesting that I'd show that to you all, so you knew what you're looking at, and you know that. Termites do exist here in Grand Junction. Uh, they pretty much exist anywhere in the world. They're Mother Nature's way of getting rid of dead wood. Mm -hmm. And your house, technically, is built out of dead wood. <laughs> a lot so, of places we see termites usually are around garage doors. Garage doors. I, 
I was down at the hardware store. I was talking to the hardware guy about some stuff to treat this with, and he was talking about how they ate up his door jam, and literally the Man. paint was the only thing holding it together, and the door fell out of the house. Oh my word. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it just boom, shut the door, and it fell out, and there was no wood left. It all been eaten up, so it happens, so... All right, well, I just wanted to show you that, guys. I'm going to let you all go. Have a great evening, and we'll talk to you later. Bye. Bye.